There's a feature in Outlook that many of us may not have been aware of, um, but it's really helpful for those situations where perhaps we're creating a message where we don't necessarily need a big reply. Really what we want to know is yes, no, maybe so. And in those cases, what we can actually do is we can create an email message that has voting options. Some of those are going to be already pre-built and some of those we can actually customize ourselves. We send those out to the users and then the recipients can, instead of drafting a whole reply, they can simply click on the voting options and give us back those one word responses. Let's jump right into it. So to access any of those voting options, first thing we're going to have to do, of course, is to create a new email. And it's just as a quick refresher, there's two ways to create a new email. We can always click on new email here. Or for those of us who remember the keyboard shortcut, if we do control plus N, it'll also create the new email there for us as well. Just helpful to know both of those ways. I always like to highlight the shortcuts when we can. Right? But for now, I'll just use the classic approach and we'll just click on the email, the new email button there. Right? And here we have our message. So to access the voting options, what we're gonna wanna do is navigate to the top ribbon here, click on options. And if you notice on the right hand side, we have this little icon to use voting buttons. So if we click on this, for example, we have some pre-built voting options here. Uh, we can ask our recipients to either select approve or reject, yes or no, yes, no, or maybe. We can create, actually create a whole poll here as well. And you'll see that we actually have the option to create a poll. We can add as many options as we need to to this as well. And we can also have them select multiple answers. This might be good, say for example, um, we're trying to decide uh, what new brand we want to use for our, our new clothing line for our company. You know, you might want to have a couple options, have people vote on multiple brands if that's helpful. Just a quick example of what that might be. For now, I'll X out of it. So I can highlight the custom option here. Okay. So what this does is, say for example, none of these voting buttons really work for us. What we can do is actually create our own. Now, one important thing to know about when you're customizing or creating your own voting option is whatever you put in here for these voting buttons, it must be in that same format as what you see here. So you'll notice, for example, we have approve, semicolon, reject. Uh, whatever I create in here on my own needs to follow that same format. So say, for example, I wanted to create a voting option in Spanish. I can say C, semicolon, no. And when it's in that format, now I have the option to access it. You can see that it's here. And because it's in the same format, it is good to go. So again, this may be great for, for example, if we just want to know, let's say I'm going to just quickly write a message here. I'm going to send it to Eric and the instructor. And what I want to know is, my team, I'm just going to ask them if we have a particular document ready. The marketing presentation ready for, I'm going to ask them if it's ready for final review here. Right? And now when I send this, when they receive the email message, they're actually going to have an option here. It's going to say voting buttons um, are included in this email message. They click on it and they're going to get to choose between yes and no. And I'll show you what that looks like actually. So let's X out of here. We're going to just discard this email message. Uh, so say for example, we had a message here about lunch today. Um, and Ethan was simply asking us, you know, what do you think about ordering lunch for our upcoming workshops? Please reply to the voting options. And what will happen is when you receive the message, you're going to get a little prompt here that says, you know, voting options available. You click on it, you say yes or no. And then whoever created the email message is actually going to be receiving a little pop-up here. Very simple. All it will say is who, is who responded. In this case, it was Ethan. And the fact that they responded yes to lunch. So again, instead of having to reply, create a whole message there, just simply use those voting options, click yes or no. Whoever sent the message is going to be receiving those responses. And then from there, you can decide whether or not lunch is available based on how many people respond from there. Uh, so again, it's a small feature, but I think it's really, really helpful in those situations where maybe you don't need a big reply. You just simply want to know one or two word answers. Use those voting options when you're creating your messages, send those out and keep track of the responses as they pop up on your screen as the recipients begin to respond to the prompts you created.